this next data channel is really acquired two different ways, and, and Todd's going to go into both methods of how we get this information, but it is so critical to so many race cars, regardless of class you're running in, and it's ignition timing. Right, as you say, very critical in, uh, in monitoring your tune-up and what you're doing going down track. So one of the ways we have it with the V300 SD and the V500 SD, both of those have an optional kit where we can add ignition timing uh, with the um, addition of a TDC sensor, and then we basically take the input that comes off the MSD ignition and compare it to our TDC sensor on the crank, and we're able to determine what the crank angle or what the engine timing is. So we utilize that, uh, and also with the V500 SD, we have the additional capabilities of doing individual cylinder timing if somebody's moving timing around in different cylinders at different times. Uh, one of the other ways we have even for the sportsman and also applies to V300 and V500 SD is uh, the addition of the MSD power grid interface. So we can connect just using a T cable. We can bring in certain channels coming off the MSD power grid system. So we were talking earlier about the VNet system and the cable that you held up. You're saying that when you're on a power grid, if you just have a T connector off of it, that's much the same as, a, as a, a race pack sensor being connected in, so now all of a sudden it views the power grid as just data channels just like an oil pressure and water temp. Exactly. The race pack system just sees it as another sensor on the network. Okay.